Good morning, Rich Tyson here. Hey, the last few blogs and video logs that I have made have discussed the important principles of learning, being a learning leader. As I've discussed that, I mentioned a man by the name of Ralph Waldo Emerson, who said that there are really three important things that we need to keep in mind as learners, and, and these are components of learning that will help us always be on the, the bleeding edge, uh, leading out by being lifelong learners. The first of those, uh, to uh, remind you, is to be out in nature, to be out involved with life, to be observing what things are going on around you. The second important thing that uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson mentioned was to read books and to learn from all of the great literature that's out and about around us. And then the third is to get into action, to be engaged in your life, to jump in and, and get involved. One of the things I've recently engaged in is doing these videos, and uh, it, it's a new thing for me. You may be able to tell that. And uh, I'm, I'm in a learning curve. But in order to really learn, to be in that curve, and to ultimately get good at doing this, I've got to do it. And so those three principles, again, uh, observe what's going on around you, read, and get engaged. Be a doer. Well, uh, that's a, a, uh, those are key elements of learning. The other thing I wanted to ask today in this particular video log is how do you learn? There are some distinct different ways in how we learn. Some of us are visual learners. We really enjoy seeing things. We want it up on the, on the screen, in a video, in a PowerPoint, uh, or we want to be able to observe someone else doing something. We are visual learners. There are also those who are called aural learners who learn by hearing. They learn best from podcasts or from audible books and so forth. They aren't really readers, they are listeners. They learn best that way. There are also kinesthetic uh, learners, those who do learn by doing, kind of Ralph Waldo Emerson's third principle. They, they uh, learn best by really getting engaged. And then there are those who are linguistic learners who like to read. They like to see the, the written word. They like to correlate and cross-pollinate between authors. I, I'm that way. I, I love that kind of learning. And then there's the logical learner who enjoys seeing schematics, flow charts, uh, all of the equations that might underlie how we do things and so forth. They love seeing cause and effect. There are also social learners who really enjoy being in a group and having the opportunity to engage with others and being able to ask questions and interact, and they learn best that way. And then there are some who are solitary learners who just enjoy being to themselves, kind of curled up on the sofa with a book or with a journal to write down their thoughts and what they've gleaned from their activities. It's important that we understand ourselves and how we learn, and then it's also important that we observe how our people learn, because it's so critical that we create competency and engagement with our people. Competency and engagement drive operational outcomes, which drive customer outcomes, which drive financial outcomes, and ultimately help us achieve our vision in organization. So it is critical that we create strong competency in our people. Competent people become engaged, they become uh, more confident in what they do, and ultimately they find more fulfillment in their work and in their lives. So it's really critical that we not only be learning leaders in the sense that we learn ourselves, but we also are teaching leaders. We, we learn how our people learn, and then we teach them accordingly. So uh, this is my message to you today. I, I hope this resonates with you. Short video today, but with the intent that you might see yourself as a strong learning leader. Uh, as I've said in an earlier video, you know, our, our lives pass quickly. Uh, the time will go by. The question is, will we invest it or will we spend it? Some of it obviously should be spent. We, we shouldn't be totally focused in any pursuit. Uh, balance in life is good, but a good portion of that balance should be in our ongoing pursuit of learning and growth, and then helping our people learn and grow. 
So I hope there's a, a few nuggets in here for you today. In my subsequent video, probably the next one I make, I will be talking about a learning model that I've created that I believe can be very helpful to you as you begin to take your content, whatever you want to teach, and put it into a process that's effective. It's called my PACER learning model, and I'll share that with you in my next video. Thanks so much. Appreciate you being with me today.